Hey guys, thought I'd make a tutorial video for uh, the swing time edits I've been making recently. So, uh, here, here's that. The first thing you're gonna do is find the song you want you want to make swing time. I recommend just going on Google search, typing it up, finding the YouTube link for it, copying that, downloading it. I use YouTube-DL. It's free, you can use it in command prompt. Yes. Yeah, so to open command prompt, you just do Windows plus R, type CMD, enter. So you just go to wherever your YouTube DL is in your computer, run it, download the video. If you, if you don't know how to do this, look it up. It's not that complicated. Anyhow, I've already downloaded it, so it's already downloaded on mine. But if you wanna, what, what are you going to do next is open Audacity, import the file, just, just drag it in. There you go, now you have an mp3 of the song you want to work with. Next thing you want to do is you know, find the tempo of the song, just google it, stick it in your calculator, take the number, take the reciprocal of the number, multiply it by 30, and this will give you the number you want to work with. So next you want to find the start of the song, or for like the first beat starts usually, and click on tracks, add new, mono track, and then you're gonna make, go generate silence, type in that number you got, and then, normally I would just copy it over and over again. If it's a little bit too long, take a bit out here and there. If it's a little bit too short, add a bit more. You, you basically want to make up sure those little bars line up with the beats. If your number's like, ends in three numbers and then, point, and then five or something, you can do what I did and have like one smaller, one bigger. I hope this is making sense. I don't really know. I'm, I'm recording this in one take. But yeah, you can see, I, I've already gone through it. It kind of lines up here and there. It doesn't have to be perfect, as long as it's pretty close. I mean, if, if you don't like how it sounds, you can always try again. So yeah, anyhow, do that. Next thing I want to do, go to the end of the song, and try to find the, the last beat. If it, like, fades out, just keep doing it till the end. If, if it stops on a note, I usually stop it there. You want to find the second half of the beat or the second beat, like you want to find the even number beats basically. So listen to it a couple times, I think it's that beat for this one. So I'm going to select that beat, and what we're going to do is go effect at the top, click on effect, click on change tempo, and now make sure percent change is at 100, check that box there, click OK. The first step's done, now you're going to do control I to make the splits around that, and then skip the next, next beat and go to the next second half of the beat, do the same thing. Now you select it this time, do control R. It just repeats the change tempo action. It's a lot faster. It's basically to select it, control R, control I, and repeat that over and over again. I'm gonna do time lapse. It's it's literally just this entire thing, the, the entire song. Do this over and over again. Get my Spotify at the bottom, you can see it's just it doesn't take that long. I think it took me about a half hour for this to make this one. Obviously some songs, like I did, I did Only in Dreams, I think that took at least an hour. I don't know, I, d I did it several sessions. It doesn't take too long. I mean, there's probably some way to automate it. I, I kind of enjoy it. So anyhow, I finished the song. I'd recommend giving it a listen to here and there throughout the song. Like, don't do it all in one go like I did here. And then yeah, listen to it. If you're happy with it, which hopefully you are, you can export it, you have your, you, you finished. If you don't like it, there's a few things you can do to go back. You can change where the splits are in the beat. You can move them a little bit forward, a little bit backward. Maybe you messed up and grabbed the first half of the beat and then it's gonna sound a bit different. And anyhow, you wanna remove the silence at the end because otherwise that'll be part of exported file. Export it as mp3 or whatever you want. mp3 is a small file size. Not a huge difference. Anyhow, that's, that's the end of the video part I recorded. I just, I wanted to say when you're making the splits for the song, sometimes sometimes they don't use a metronome, I guess. So the beats don't really line up perfectly with each other. So in that case you can add a bit of silence here to the, the mono track or take a bit out. 
You just want to make sure like your your splits are lined up with the beats pretty closely. If your song is in 6-8 time, or like 3-4 or whatever, what I've been doing is you take the second and third beats of every of every group of three and speed those up. But yeah, there's probably a lot more things you can do with this. I don't know. Hopefully I explained that well. If there's something I missed, leave a comment. I'll I might make a part two, I don't know. But yeah, that's that. Anyhow, hope you guys have a good day. I'm out.